Perfect. Uh oh. Uh oh. Holy. Nope. I dodged. I am El Matador. El Matador of Vegas Story. Stop spin. Stop going around in a circle. You better stop it. You're making me dizzy. Wait, where are you going? Wait, wait, where, where are you going? This badger don't want to fight. Don't blame him though. He's, he's seen me. He's seen me take on his cousins. Love it. Oh, oh, Caterium. Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Les Grumblays. Now, hold up, hold up. I know what you're thinking. Not even more satisfactory. Well, yes. But I have an idea. As those of you who've been following on with the live streams will know, I've recently become rather smitten once more with this game. I've been playing quite a lot of it and uh, with a few different friends groups and things and uh, we're having a jolly good time. However, the uh, live screen stream, if I can speak today, uh, schedule is rather chock-a-block uh, with all sorts of shenanigans. So uh, I figured we might try and do a few discreet videos for the YouTubes uh, just to allow me to scratch my itch a little bit for satisfactory and uh, yeah keep a little bit of content flowing and everything keep up with the game uh, so rather than try to power through with some of the cooperative plays we've been doing I have had a what can only be described as an idea that is either pure genius or absolute torture for myself we shall see uh, but at being relatively new to the game still, at time of recording about 120 hours, I uh, figured it could be a good laugh to start off in the June Desert area, recommended for advanced pioneers, <laughs> with animal danger on, with keep your equipment but lose the contents of your backpack. So there will be consequences if we go down, face down in the, in the desert sands. Uh, yeah, and just uh, build from there. Part of my thinking is I, I want to kind of do a little bit of a, I don't know, Las Vegas meets June or something like that. And just see what the struggle boss gives us out in the sands. So without further ado, welcome to a new session of Las Vegas Story. <laughs> Name change pending. All right. Let's get into it, shall we? Separation from main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. All pioneers functional, initiating dispersion. Attention pioneer, I am Ada, your personal instance of the artificial directory and assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit Pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Fixit. Short term solutions to long term problems. Initiating planet fall. Atmospheric entry in 3, 2, one. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. Deploying backup parachute. Skipping parachute. Landing phase begun. Activating retro propulsion. Touch 
touchdown. Planet fall complete. Drop pod integrity nominal. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer, acceptable. Wait, what? I suppose being acceptable is better than nothing. Here we go, gang. Here we go. Oh, geez. What have I set myself up for? Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive Planetfall. Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Uh, yeah. Could go on Massage. Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. Here we go. First contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to fix it procedure and equip the fix it ink Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Okay. Now I've chosen to do the whole shebang right from the beginning. Next so Dismantle for the those that know the uh, tutorial, I'll put some timestamps in the doobly doo we down do below. Not waste. But we'll probably the do a few edits and skips. Recycled to construct the first anyway. stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. Oh, you're gone. Oh, look, these nuts. Next objective. Use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be yes. able to build the hub. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. Look at those waterfalls. Beautiful. That looks like a thing. Potential edible collected. Eating it and surviving mm -hmm. does not count as a valid field test and does not generate enough well, data for fix it to make an informed decision. I feel like Story you're being a bit of a negative for later use. here, Amy. What's this? Ooh, is that quartz? Purpley. All right, let's go. Here, here we go, gang. Uh, this is going to be a ride. Oh, lordy. Okay, there's resources galore here. All right. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, oh, quartz. That's a win. Unknown crystalline mineral collected. This mm, mineral is mm, composed of the same chemical elements as quartz right. and may yield Let's similar go up industrial here and have a functions. Look at our surroundings. Store this potential resource for later use. Uh oh, hazards. What? Oh no, he's got angry at me. I've, I was just go I'm doing the intro. No, clear up. I'm doing the intro. You can't. I don't want to fight. Whee! Oh, that was close. All right, have it. Have it. Oh, you're doing your spinneroony. Have it. Get him from the side. That's what we want. There we go. <laughs> Victory. Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are right. blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a water there. plated skull and spine, Wonder if that, suggesting it is not proficient very deep, at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the remains for later study. All right. So, let's uh, let's have a look at our surroundings. What do we got here? Let's uh, hang on. Can we? Oh, I can't have my photo mode yet. What? That's uh, that's mean. Huh? You can't use photo mode at the beginning. Amazing. Okay, well, we'll do a little pan and scan anyway. I'm going to try and do some shots with the controller. I might need to calm the sensitivity down. But here we are. Actually, let's put that away. There you go. Let's go. This is going to be <laughs> home to Las Vegas story. Oh, goodness me. It's going to be, uh, yeah. I like the look of that scary tree over there. All right. Let's get to it. It's another beastie over there. Okie dokie. Right. Let's have a quick swim. Check out the pool. Oh, that's better. That's better already. Goodness. Oh, look. There's a bird. All right. Here's some more limestone. Handy. We might as well get some grass for here. This is handy as well. I was worried that I didn't know what we were going to use for fuel, but at least we've got this little oasis. Oasis in the desert. For, oh, berries. That's handy. <gasps> Let's see if we can get ourselves a desert dog away. 
Potential edible collected. If consumed before Let's authorized go. is compatible with the human digestive system by fix it, the consumer is responsible What's for that? any and all consequences. What's that? Store Couldn't this hear potential you. resource I'm, I'm too busy eating. Use. What's that? Oh, okay. I missed the I, I was too busy eating, I didn't listen to that last message. Oh, 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 oh. Get him. Oh, got it. Nice. Oh, we got our first sluggy slug. Steve. Hello. Hey, you buddy. Come on, Steve. Let's do this. We're going to make This semi slug Las Vegas. species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. There's another one. There's Studying your cousin, this Steve. Could provide new methods and for another. improving fixed oh, production goodness. line efficiency. Store this potential get, resource I'm gonna get killed for later use. It's going to be something. Oh. All right, let's have you then, Badger. Oh, wow. Have it. Let's hope there's only one of those. They're often in groups. Okay, we got away Samples with it. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. <sighs> okay. Their weaponized plasma is Oop. most likely stored as a right. stable chemical substance in an organ close to their mouth and only turns volatile when exposed to one of the chemical elements in the air. Let's have a look. Oh, there's some more iron up there. Let's, go up there. Study. Let's go and have a look up there. Bit more sulfur. Okie dokie. Right. Let's see what this gives us. Oh, badgers. Two more. There's two. I don't want to take on a pack. Let's go to the safe site over here. They won't sit. They won't spot us. Mainly because I can't get up this rock anyway. Come on. Oh my goodness. Let's go around this side then. Oh, snap. No, don't, don't do it. Oh, ow. Ow. Have it. Oh, goodness. Iron node normal. Perfect. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Holy. Nope. I dodged. I am El Matador. El Matador of Vegas Story. Stop spin. Stop going around in a circle. You better. Stop it. You're making me dizzy. Wait, where are you going? Wait, where, where, where are you going? This badger don't want to fight. Don't blame him though. He's he seen me. He's seen me take on his cousins. Have it. Oh, oh, Caterium. God, that's lucky. Unknown metal collected. This metallic element Let's is showing properties go. similar to those in group 11 on the periodic table, All right. such as high conductivity and malleability. Right. Let's do one more scan Stand here in case there's a... Uh... No, back that way is the impure. So we got this normal. I don't know what that is over there. Okay, so we're going to go here. Okay, hopefully that looks like limestone. This will be a good starting spot. Down by the river. Uh, is this going to look funky? We'll try this. Oh, it does put legs down. Hub foundation nice. built. Do you the know what I did? Terminal I put and crafting it the wrong way around. Are only the humble beginnings I of a successful fix-it fix pioneer, but essential well, for the next steps of onboarding. Well, that means the front's going to be like looking Once out finished, towards the river. The hub will function as your base of operations. Cute. Next objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Is it hanging off the side too much or is it okay? No, it's put legs down. It's good. Okay. Okay, I like it. Uh, we kind of can get a miner there, I guess. Ah, we're going to move in anyway at some point. All right, let's get to work here. We've got the crafting bench. Nice. What do you need for hub upgrade? Uh, hub upgrade. Select milestone. You need, we need 10 rods. Okay, let's go. Ingots, here we go. Boom, upgrade. We got a box. Nice. Hub upgrade one. Let's store Storage some and things. frames completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations store on completing your first milestone. Scan. The first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix it mission. Okay, good. Next objective. Complete hub upgrade two. Let's go. Hub upgrade two. Boom. Ten of those. Ten. Of, okay. We. Oh, look. We needed twenty. Mm -hmm. Boop. 
Right, we're just going to burn through these quick, smart. New parts Cobalt available. Cobalt grade two, power and shell completed. All the right. smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with fix-it technology. Power lines, nice, Fueling okay. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even mm -hmm. cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, so we've got to find complete copper. hub upgrade three. We have to find copper. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, you're always impure. Oh, we've got to fight for an impure. You are... You are the badger of impurity. Be gone. All right, let's get some of these. Oops. Hey. Sapping the copper. Not as effective. So the miner's going to go there. So let's put it on top of this sand dune. Uh, face it like that. And we'll put the other one... Over there in a minute. Okay, and you're gonna make us iron. Gonna chuck. I haven't got him. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we're gonna connect you up to. We need some power poles. Oh, I got no cables. Oh, silly, silly badger. You, I needed cables. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. I can't make uh, power lines yet, can I? Power poles, rather. Interesting. All right. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of did it the wrong way around. Should have gone with the other. Okay, let's have a look at this one in here. This won't be dangerous at night. More quartz. Nice. This will be fine. It's funny not being when you've been in more advanced playthroughs and even having something simple like the map. Or in this case, not having the map. Okay, so oh, this is a normal. Okay, badges. This is where we're gonna set up then. Oh, I see a cheeky little sphere up there. Let's get a couple of hundred limestone and then head back. Oh sugar. Oh I heard that. Oh no. Okay, come on. Come on, the big... Oh, hello. Oh, you're doing your spinner rooney Come on. Oh, one more. One more. One more. Got him. Got him. Where did you drop your bits? Wait. Where, where, where? B, I've got a light. I forgot I had a light. Where's? Where did you drop your bits? There's your bits. Okay, wonderful. Okay, we got that. Let's go. We can make two of these. Yes. Right, there we go. Perfect. I think what we'll do is we'll get this going at full tilt. Boop. Boop. And then we'll go, we'll, with this we can make another one. Or two actually. Actually, we want to get two more. We want to get two down on our little uh, cement bunker over there in the... Where was it? Over there in the woods, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's glorious. Look at that. 30 already. Oh. Oh, it makes me happy to see those big numbers. <laughs> and I know the irony of what I'm saying. It's beautiful. Well, I'll move it closer if I have to. I swear. There we go. Oh, it's, isn't it glorious? Isn't it? Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. First belt here in the sand. Let's go. Oh, is it? I think this because we can customize. Yes. Big head, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> let's go with build gone. Yes. Okay. And then. It's always my favorite. I'm going to go with the coupon tickets because I love me some coupon. What's this blonde uh, uh, bling though? Golden Nugget. Okay. We're, oh, we're in the desert. We'll go with Golden Nugget because it's all about Vegas. And we're golden. Let's go. <gasps> bacon. Bacon. No space for bacon. Let's get rid of that word. Bacon. 
Come here. Ooh. That's handy. The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal and will require study to determine local application, store it for later use. Nice. So, Mark 1 Minor. There we go. And we're going to get you connected up to you. Nice. We're not too worried about looks off the get-go, as long as nothing's clipping too horribly. <clears throat> Don't look at the power cables. Don't look at the power cables. It's fine. Uh, okay. So, uh... <laughs> Boop. Uh, and then we're gonna... Connect that to that. Just put an extra one in here. I'm more of a fan. I'm a fan of more poles is betters than uh, less poles. So that one to there, that one to there, and then this one to there. Missing materials. One cable. What? What? Production halt. All right, next hub upgrade. Boom. Bingo. And we're done. Hub upgrade six. Landing yes. platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Nice. Congratulations. Here we go. Here comes the freighter. Completed onboarding and achieved Let's the absolute go, minimum you cheeky skill badger. level required of a fix it Absolute pioneer. minimum fix skill it level. Looks forward to your future achievements because a future with fix it is a future with Love you. It. Tier Let's 1 and 2 milestones go. are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Yes. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. All right, so we got some choices here. Base building, I think, is what I'm going to go for first, because then we can start laying down some foundations and uh, get to building... Uh, Las Vegas story. Um, however, I'm also tempted to go a slightly different route, which is get the MAM and start, well, extra inventory slots uh, and start and get the map unlocked and everything. But we don't need a map right away. What we need is somewhere to call a home and a base of operations. We'll be back when we've got some, uh, yeah, some position started down there. All we're going to do is <clears throat> bring in concrete, copper, and iron and start getting ourselves a little bit organized uh, once we've got the base building unlocked. And here we are. Huzzah! Our big old conveyor belt bringing our raw copper. All the way over here. So we're automating copper now. Uh, we've got uh, iron rods still automated. And we've got uh, iron plates semi-automated. That might seem like the wrong way around, but it is what it is. Uh, next step, we're automating uh, mining our concrete. Uh, sorry, the limestone. And then we're going to set up, next step, our first little mini... Uh, storage facility down here uh, so I just set this up with belts this way for now just to uh, get the raw materials together that we need but soon TM we're going to unlock logistics milestone and then the building can begin Viva Las Vegas story baby milestone reached conveyor belt set to Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to yes. save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. <laughs> Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. <laughs> if you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in. <laughs> visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. <laughs> Breathe out. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. 
All right. Huzzah. So we went from the great success of uh, unlocking logistics and uh, then the power went out immediately. So we have put a little bit of automation of concrete production over there in the jungle. Just an inline manufacturer to start with. And that has pushed us over our limits. So I'm going to temporarily turn off uh, this smelter. Let this manufacturer finish what it's doing. Uh, but we have now successfully unlocked foundations. Only the basic fixing metal to start with. So, you know, we'll see what we can get done. And the orange. And we don't have the customizer obviously unlocked yet either. So things might look a little bit ugly. But great success. We now have the splitter and merger unlocked. So I'm going to update my hot bars with my usual selections as we go. That one on number seven. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this next step. Uh, this should be a good one. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, it has begun in earnest. Uh, Viva Las Vegas story. Uh, yeah, storage warehouse receiving facility number one is uh, a go-go, as you can see. <laughs> it's not going to win any beauty uh, design awards. Uh, but uh, first things first, this early game to just get things up and running. Uh, and uh, yeah, production line number one, 0.69, uh, is also a go-go. Built over there on a sort of sloping uh, tiered system that I've gone for, which is also going to avoid us having just a pure box because we're going to encase all of that and then we'll have different heights and angles and things to work with. But obviously we don't have the... Uh, awesome sync uh, and all that kind of stuff right now which is probably a good thing because we wouldn't be able to power it you might notice a number of red uh flashing lights uh it could well be that we've just ever so slightly breached the limit as i think is a rite of passage in every playthrough of this uh for new players relatively new players and forgetful players like me uh maximum consumption 47 when everything's running i went around and panic switched a couple of things off and the result was uh no bueno so uh yeah i i uh somehow i've overdone it i'm gonna see i've got i think i doubled down on the copper but i switched the second one off uh, i've also added in screw production because uh we're going to need a lot of uh, screws we're gonna go for field research next we could go for more logistic -y things but Anyway, at the moment we're compromising uh, with the... I can show you the storage facility while everything's quiet. Oh yeah, I doubled down on smelters, although this one is switched off. So he shouldn't be drawing power. This one is on. Uh, this one is for the screw production. I wonder if I turn the smelter off just for a moment. I bet I'll forget that. I wonder if now I can get the power on. Let's see. Oh, power's a go-go. Production. Third. Okay, I don't know why the production... Okay, that's what it's drawing right now. 30, okay. Oh, there you go. Got that up and running. Okay, I haven't read the run the belt through yet for from here. In fact, we can do this right now. Do it live. Uh, let's chuck that there. And then, see, can that go all the way? It won't go all the way. Okay, so we'll raise it up one there. And then we grab it and then that should go in there. Perfect. Okay, so down here at uh, production uh, receiving, sorry, at the, at the receiving part of warehouse one, uh, we've got eventually copper wires. Uh, then we've got uh, concrete, just because that happens to be coming from the back over there. Uh, then uh, that's all slowed up because of the, you can see it, Hopefully coming along the belt there. Yeah, there we go. Because the power's been out for a while. Uh, then we've got uh, metal plates, uh, rods, and eventually screws here. So everything is in one convenient IKEA style. Come and get it. Uh, all downhill on the ground floor. And everything one way or another with all these uppers and downers, these lifts. As I like to call them the uppers and downers. 
they're all feeding into the very bottom box so eventually we can get some signage in there and uh, sort it all out but you know again new playthrough so we haven't got all of the aesthetic design elements yet that we need uh, most notably right now we're having to work around uh, the lack of having the um, the lift conveyor belt hole um, that piece is so critical to all of this um, but yeah I decided to go with this tiered uh, sort of stacked system here for the initial production um, because I really 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 want to get the warehouse idea going and I want to see if uh, if that'll function for me at all why uh, this is yellow it's because I've got it switched off okay that's fine to save the power I don't now that this is on I think we could probably switch this smelter back on how much does the smelter draw enough okay so it's time to build a power factory <laughs> let's turn that back off again okay Boop. fingers crossed there we go all right so uh and how are we gonna how are we gonna get enough power how are we gonna get enough biofuel the answer is with this bad boy the world's quietest 25 percent audio setting chainsaw so you can just about hear it but it's kind of an annoying noise who wants a chainsaw in their face all the time so i've turned it down all right there we go so that's what we've got so far i'm excited about this i'm really looking forward to the next step Alrighty, well we needed a little bit more power uh so uh yeah i set something up here it is our little jungle mini millipede with uh yeah running a bunch of bio uh mass burners uh with solid biofuel i've uh, got a little production line here at the back uh only going to be working with leaves because that seems to be what's predominantly around this area uh and uh yeah usual the usual stack little bits of ins and outs gave it some little walls for uh, some flavor they could feel like it's uh Got some stuff going on and then down here this is kind of a manifold setup of a bunch of the burners not gonna again claim any awards for design or efficiency but i thought it was kind of cool to be on the edge of the jungle and go with a go with a, a sort of a insect like approach so uh so there you go yeah it's uh it's our little power uh, unit now and that's taken us up nicely from uh, where we were before 40 watts and always tripping over ourselves we're now running uh, 220 max capacity beautiful uh, that has allowed me to go around in turn and power on all the thingamabobs uh, so you can now see that uh, everything except the screws is being fed into warehouse number one uh, from our production facility the screws are being made uh, up there on the end and uh, next step now i'm gonna do right away is to bring the uh, screws feed across and feed that in there so that'll run parallel probably well probably to the plates one so we'll go a little bit up and down can i get that sweet spot please hello oh there it is marvelous okay so we're going to build a track here to uh get to the warehouse from the screw manufacturer line uh, i know that that's going to all need expanding out as well doubling down and etc but again we're not in a big rush here we're just you know viva las vegas story wasn't built in one day albeit my arrows are getting on already uh there we go so from here we can do our same little uh, trick here with another uh, uh splitter uh we'll keep with the off the ground theme i think just to just to challenge ourselves a little bit there's no real need for it at this point i'm just uh, just over complicating my life i think it will look kind of fun that it again goes up one more level Oh, would you would you look at that? That kind of is, I think. Is that going up? 
Oh, I think that's about right. I think we got it. He's only gone and done it. First try. Oh, amazing. Okay. So, and then we've got the fun and games. Oh, no, I've, I have made it harder for myself because I've got this. I got this on an upper now. In fact, that needs to be one more level. Oh, my goodness. A few moments later. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Bingo. And Bingo was his name. Oh, there we go. Go on. Go on, oh, you biscuit. Perfect. Perfect. Give yourself a cookie. Yes. The strews are on the loose. Can I make this job? I can. Okay, beautiful. Here they come, little, little chipper chappies. Oh, there you go. Yes. Oh, I'm loving this uh, warehouse idea. It's a lot of extra work, especially early game, but it's nice to play this in a completely different way, not, not focusing too much on the progression but just getting the fundamentals in place. It's kind of fun. All right, and obviously we're gonna, we're gonna pretty this up. Once we get the field research out of the way, um, there's something I really wanna get, which is the parachute. I flipping love the parachute, it's great. It's great, because it's a ways to get the jetpack unless you stumble across a, uh, uh, a, a, a little badger wearing one. Which I have had in two of my playthroughs, so you never know. Never say never. Look at that. There's our screw production coming in from the receiving depot. No, sorry, from production line one. Tier zero, tier one. Uh, into warehouse number one. Oh, fan dabby dozy. And now, then the fun's going to begin, isn't it? Because then how am I going to feed things back out? Of the well, we'll see. Maybe we're going to build a completely separate factory rather than feeding things back out again. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to... I haven't thought that far ahead. I have not... You know, that if that was the tagline for all of my satisfactory videos, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Not worrying about it. Nothing to worry about yet. We've got our millipede down there feeding us lots of power. So we've got our early game uh, power sorted out for the time being. And there we go. We've got screws. Look at the screws coming down. So we've got screws. We've got um, rods. We've got plates. We've got concrete. And we've got copper wires. Oh. And dabby dozy. We have got a line set up for cables. So goodness knows I'm going to bring cable. I might have to extend back that way. Drop the cables down earlier, but we'll see. That's going to be fun because that's one above and one below unless we change the order. But look at that. Look at the screws. Oh, let's go onwards. Field research. And then we can do some more. Uh, we can do some early research. We can do some exploring. And I need to go and find my cilia. So I have no idea from here. I haven't found any in this area yet. Um, just lots and lots of angry hogs. Um, and the occasional spitter. Um, we've seen some beehives. I don't know what's up there. There's a yellow Steve up. Steve! Steve! So we need to try and see if we can get hold of him at some point. But I'm not going to risk my life for it. Um, yeah. Going well. Going really, really well. I'm really happy with this, uh, with this start. Alrighty, so back with the last blast for this uh, first episode, I guess. Uh, we've got the uh, millipede power uh, power station over there. We've got uh, all of our basic processing uh, being brought into warehouse number one, partially built, as you can see, uh, from uh, a ways off in the distance. And, uh, yeah, as promised, I, uh, I put together a little housey house that sort of looks like an angry duck from this angle. I don't know. You decide. 
Uh, but let's go, uh, let's go up there and take a look, shall we? As you can see, I've put the hub up on the roof, uh, along with a, uh, a lookout tower. Uh, I don't have much stuff unlocked yet. We haven't even gotten to the mem, let alone the, the sink shop. So forgive me the lack of customization, coloring, and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, you can see we've got quite a bit of space to work with in here. Again, you don't need uh, a home base as such in this game, but I thought it'd be fun. Uh, here you've got a little viewing uh, balcony from further down. Beautiful, right in front of the smelters. Lovely. Uh, but yeah, if somebody needs to, you need to shout some orders down to the way. Oh, wait, get some fish and chips on the way home. Down to the warehouse. Uh, in here, we've got some uh, more space areas to work with we've got some storage uh we got a little uh workshopping area over there uh we've got a, a crafting bench uh and another viewing uh balcony over here a little, little bit better view here for, from this one i get i would imagine hope i'm not moving the camera too fast for you folks uh, but yeah, a bit of fun. You can see what we've got up to in like uh, session one. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the pièce de résistance. The lovely views that you get from up top on the roof. And this is only like, you know, the very beginning. Viva Las Vegas story. This desert is ours. You've got access to the roof from, from down below there, from, from the sand dune level. And uh, yeah, up here we've got the mem. Haven't done any research yet. We're going to do that in a moment, just to wrap up. Uh, you got a nice view of the mountains off in the distance there. Oh, bit too fast for the camera. Sorry. Uh, yeah. See where we started with our copper. You got the water area over here. You got the waterfall. You got our. We're not using that those power things anymore. We're off. We weaned ourselves off those pretty pretty early. We've got our lovely uh, habitat here. Uh, another workshop, although maybe we remove that one from below. I don't know. Uh, there's a picture of the bog bio from before. And uh, yeah, last but not least, a uh, a lovely uh, view from the lookout tower up above. Let's hop up there, shall we? Try not to fall off the edge. Yeah. Views out into the desert. Amazing. All that sand are belong to us. And, uh, yeah. This is the extent of our facility so far. For a very early game, it's way overcomplicated and too much building works and everything. But, well, it was too much, you know. It's, it was fun. I have had a lot of fun putting this together. And there you go. There's a view of uh, all the stuff and things from up on high. Love it. All right, folks, do me a big favor, will you? If you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, uh, a like, on, uh, and subscribe to the channel if you want to encourage me to do more. And please let me know in the comments if you like this idea of uh, Viva Las Vegas story, making a Las Vegas out in the desert. Uh, yeah, with more like buildings to come um, and uh, a little bit of satisfactory gameplay, you know, and this occasional side quest where we actually play the game. Yeah, let me know what you think, folks. Uh, in the meantime, it's been awesome to start this one off. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Good vibes be with you. Peace and love.